Well, the connection between scent and health has to do with whatever the smell means to you. So if there is a scent that because of your own past associations, it makes you feel invigorated, it improves your well-being, it makes you feel healthy, wealthy and wise, then that scent is going to have a positive effect on you in many ways. It means something to you, it triggers an association which influences your emotions, and then your emotional state changes your body chemistry. So for instance, if you're really upset, your body chemistry changes accordingly, various neurochemicals are released physiologically, your heart rate can change, sweating can change, and so on. Just as if you're in a really good mood, all kinds of neurochemistry changes as a function of that. So smells can totally do all that, but they don't do it from the mechanism of smell right to neurochemistry. They do it through the mechanism of influencing your emotions, and then your emotions turn your body on. What you can do to manipulate that is if you have a smell that you really love, and it makes you feel really good and calm, or whatever the mood is that you're trying to achieve for your personal well-being, then you can use that smell when you're feeling down or when you're feeling lethargic or when you feel like you need to pick me up and use it to put you in a good mood. Now the problem is you don't want to overuse that smell because the more you smell it, two things can happen. First of all, you can adapt to it. So that means that you're not really perceiving it so strongly after a period of time. And secondly, if you keep on smelling it every time you're in a really bad mood, eventually the smell will become associated with being in a really bad mood. It won't happen instantaneously. But if you only use it when you're feeling really crummy, then uh, it could start to make you feel lousy after a while rather than good.